So if you're on my Patreon, you would know that I'm quite interested in avionics, that's aircraft electronics, and in this video we're going to look at this, a lovely magnetic indicator. And I love anything to do with electromechanical clicky clicks. You would have seen this relay module that I made, and this works on a similar principle. It's made by Doughty and you can see from the markings on the side here that it needs 21 to 28 volts DC. Here's another Doughty switch for cabin pressure. That's got to go on a synth at some point. It came with a label that tells you a bit about it. That terminal number three is the common, so that should be connected to ground. And with nothing connected to the other two terminals, it's just going to be resting like this. But if you connect power to pin one, it's going to flip one way. And if you connect power to pin two, it's going to flip the other way. Let's hook it up and see what it does. So we've now wired up those three terminals to three jack plugs so that we can interface it with our modular synthesizer. And I've got to route the power through my 1606 electromagnetic switches. So I've got pin three connected to ground. The power is coming in through the red lead. When the switch is in the A position, it's going through this white wire into the next module. That's so you can't send power to both of the coils at one time. <laughs> oh, look at that. How cool is that? And if we press the other button, yes. <laughs> oh, that's unbelievably cool. And of course, with this relay module, you don't have to switch it by hand. You can use an LFO or something. Let's plug the ramp output of this LFO into the other coil. Now we're only switching between the up and down. Now I've patched the LFO's triangle waveform into another of the relay modules. And so now we're switching between all three modes. Okay, now let's put a control voltage into the LFO and control its frequency. And why shouldn't we use an electromechanical sequencer to do that? Well, that got weird quick. I think there's going to be a part two where I take it apart and see how it works and also hopefully do some animation with it. If you want to see all that, join up on Patreon. There's loads over there and that would really help me buy some time to do more of this stuff. And there's a shop link below for this 1606 electromagnetic switch.